let's start with this giant head. And again, if you want to do a sombrero, if you want to do a cactus, if you want to paint a picture of a taco, you go for it. So, uh, Rachel, I did create a banner for the Mexican history of Cinco de Mayo, which is today. Cinco de Mayo, thank you, is a Mexican holiday that um, started in May, in 1862, May 5th in 1862. The Mexican army won a battle over the French, and somehow it went worldwide with the celebration, I think just because we all love to celebrate victory. And so today we are celebrating Cinco de Mayo here in Cleveland, Ohio, along with many other parts of the world. However you choose to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. I'm celebrating it by doing sugar skulls and I'm sure I'm gonna have some nachos. I have to love, other than peanut butter, if you've been watching me, you know I love peanut butter, but not on my nachos. I love salsa, I love spicy food, I love nacho chips, okay? One of my favorite treats are nacho chips and guacamole. And I have been to Mexico several times. I love Mexico. I love the culture. I love visiting the, the ancient ruins and uh, the food is spectacular and the people are extremely kind. So I do love Mexico. I have been there a number of times, all of which were spectacular. All right, so let's do our balance and symmetry designs if you want to. You want to make it asymmetrical, you go for it. So let's do some big giant eye sockets first. Could you put designs in your eye sockets? Of course, you could put big flowers. Again, you can make it your own. Reduce a couple little hearts in the middle. And then, you know what? I'm gonna put like an upside down heart for the nose. So underneath those baby hearts, I'm gonna put one big upside down heart. I'm gonna put a half a circle there and a half circle there. Cause remember, I'm gonna to try to make it symmetrical for mine. Doesn't have to be exact. And your designs can be different. Rachel, do you have, uh, Rachel's here behind the scenes to help, some samples of different sugar skull designs? Before, I, oh, there's one. Look at this. The background's decorated, all different designs, balance and symmetry. There's Coco. Very cool. Look at those. Just think really bright colors, really bright designs, fun, cool. There's a half a skull. There's the, the, the flower was in the eyeball socket. Again, thanks, that's cool. Rachel's helping today behind the scenes. And so again, you don't have to do yours like mine. Be creative, do the designs however you choose to do them. I, I think yesterday I got more photos of you guys with Baby Yoda than since I've been doing this. This is the eighth week we've been doing this, and I received so many incredible photos. I am trying to keep up with them. So, again, you can post them if you're on Facebook and you can see the video. When the video ends, a lot of people have been posting them under the video, which is a great place to post them. Then they're all in one place and everyone that watches can see under the comments the photo. So that's a great place to put them. Also, you can message me on Facebook. You can email me. Artistatheart.org is my website. Plus, you can see my full website with a lot of photos and other cool stuff that I do. And uh, how else can you get me? My, you can tag me. You can check in. Those are all the different ways you can get me your photos. So actually, Rachel, while they catch up, do you want to show a few of the big, you could go slow. So maybe half of the baby Yoda's from yesterday and then we'll go do the other half. Do you have them up there yet? Awesome. 
They look so good. And I love, again, you can see here the variety of supplies that people use. Paint, crayons, magic markers. Look at how, you know, like a little baby painting, how small that is. You can see the size with the hand in it. Awesome. Pencil, scissors, making it a collage. Very cool. Yeah, they're in uniform. They're they're in their outfits. It's so cool. I don't really have a whole lot of Star Wars stuff in my house. I have way more skulls than Star Wars. In the shirt, that's awesome. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. And I, I know we have more, so we'll show more later. That's just some of them. But I received again yesterday. I received more than ever. So that's awesome. I guess Baby Yoda is really popular. Thank you for the suggestion. All right, now I'm gonna do another design here on the cheek. And let's put a little curvy thing here. And again, yours can be totally different than mine. I'm gonna do a wavy line for the mouth. Wavy line for the mouth. Put some vertical lines in for the teeth. And then I'm gonna put a wavy one right in the middle to make it look like there's two rows of teeth in there. And then how about some cool? How's it going? You could put like those cross, I know boys love this, the crossbones right here, you know, like that big X bone that would look like a pirate. But again, it's okay. Think outside the box. It can be whatever you want. You can make it look like a pirate skull, sugar, Cinco de Mayo artwork. It's your artwork. And again, save it. You can put it out for Halloween. I'm all about changing your artwork. So you can keep it out today. You can put it out again in October. You can put it out whenever you want to. Okay, it's art and it's fun. It's more about the process than the product. It's more about creating, especially when you guys are creating together, even if you're creating by yourself, just create. Think outside the box. All right, so you guys, I definitely recommend using bright, fun colors. You use the colors you like. You do not have to use the colors that I'm gonna use. And I recommend also you use bright colors um, and I like to paint from light to dark. People love to jump right into the black. I would use black later. So I'm going to start. Let's, I hope this yellow shows up on the screen. So let's see. And if not, I'll use a deeper yellow. Sometimes the colors that I choose, let's see if you guys can see that. Can you see that yellow? I'm going to do the center of the flowers yellow. Yeah, it's kind of showing up. If it didn't show up, I could use a yellow orange, that macaroni and cheese yellow orange that I love so much. Just, and if you don't have that yellow orange, you just mix a little bit of orange and yellow together or red and yellow together. Let's make those lips. We'll do red for the lips. Oh, there goes my maraca. Just got to have a little shake because it's Cinco de Mayo, right? Let's make the lips red. I'm doing a school after we get done here today. I would have, again, I would have painted my face for Cinco de Mayo with a skull, but I'm doing a Mother's Day project with the school when we're done here on Zoom. So you guys, I do Zoom parties for $75 and you just go to the website, artistatheart.org, and you can look from a hundred different canvas paintings and you just choose your painting and then you create the Zoom party and you invite all your friends and family, you invite me, and then together we create. It's so fun. It's really a lot of fun. It could be with your class from school. It could be with your family. It could be a Mother's Day gift. I'm doing Mother's Day gift certificates. So if you guys want to do that, really, it's just up to you. And then maybe I'll do the flowers pink. I did the center already. 
but maybe the petals could be pink. So tomorrow we're doing Mother's Day and Teacher Appreciation Artwork. Uh, we're gonna do, one of them is gonna be a heart, a really fun, cool, pretty heart. The other one is gonna be the love design. Oh, that's what I forgot. I went to go get it and I forgot it. Sorry, I'm always trying to get ready. I was like, oh, I can find that skull. Oh, where's my skeleton? I meant to get the love that we're also gonna do. That's tomorrow. And then Thursday, we're going to have a special guest presentation from the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And they are going to talk to us about Andy Warhol, a super cool artist. He's not alive anymore. But he did some really cool stuff. And then we're going to create a, a drip painting with balance and symmetry. Um, they're called Warshacks. And so you're definitely going to need something liquid to create the print with if you want to do it with us. Crayons, markers, and colored pencils won't work for that project. Let's see what else we want to do. How about some bright blue? So again, this is really fun to use with bright colors. I'm going to make these bright blue down here. Bright blue over here. How about a big bright blue X in here? And a lot of times like a big bouquet of flowers you could put on top of it. Now like the little dots and stuff you guys can always add later. So those small little details you can put on at the end. I definitely need something up here. I think I'm gonna put another flower up there. Like right at the top of the head. I feel like he's bald. Well, he is bald, but too bald. How about I'll make this one pink. And I'll do the petals orange on that. I could put some green leaves in there. I didn't put leaves on the other side. So I can do some leaves over here to get a balance. Maybe I'll put a little green leaf. Oh, you guys got to help me come up with some Alexa songs. Rachel will create a banner so I can read it. So Rachel created You guys recommend some, some Cinco de Mayo songs to go with today. And then Rachel will create the banner so I can read it. Rachel, you got any Cinco de Mayo songs? Or even, I don't know, does Coco have any good music? Because otherwise you guys are going to have to hear me. Alexa, play Spooky Scary Skeleton. I have no idea that. I hope it works. Spooky scary skeleton. Mine's sweet. Mine's a nice skeleton. 
Aren't they? They're nice in cocoa too, I think. I'm pretty sure that they're nice in, in cocoa. I did a cocoa birthday party for someone and that was the theme. So that's why I had the cocoa painting. So you guys have to decide, do you want to leave the skull white and then do the background with a contrasting color? Or I'm going to leave mine white. I'm going to do the eye sockets and the nose black. Let's do the petals on the flowers. Let's do, I'm going to do mine orange or let's see what will show up. Can you guys see that? Or I'm going to do mine pink. It shows up better. Again, you can use whatever colors you want. It's just when I, I have to look at the screen to see what's showing up the best, but I'm going to do these flowers and pink. Could you make this into a mask? Sure. You could do it on paper. You can cut it out and put some eye holes in it and make it into a mask. Okay, let's take a little break. Rachel, can you show some more of those cool pictures from yesterday? More of our uh, baby Yodas? Aw. Amazing. Cool. I think there's more, but I'm, I'm not positive. So we'll check later. Now I'm going to do the eye sockets and the nose. And then you guys could do um, the teeth yellow just to be gross. <laughs> you can have them blacked out like they're like here. I could make one missing like that. <laughs> I'm I, matey. Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean, however you say it. There, let's give him another missing tooth because I think it looks funny. How's that? You could add stickers. You could add, if I had my little rhinestones, I could put a little rhinestone on one of his teeth. I'd have to glue it on. If you have little jewels you want to glue on it, you can do that. Add some sparkle if you have some glitter. Okay, I bumped into my knees on. So I was telling you guys Thursday, we'll have a visit from the Andy Warhol Museum. And then Friday, we have a special guest. She's an award-winning author from West Virginia. Her name is Kristen Leonard. And she wrote um, a book called Stars with Scars. And she's going to come on live and read us her book. And then we're going to create one of her favorite characters. The little star's name is Eugene. So cute. So we're going to create Eugene. That's going to be Friday. We have a busy week. I told you guys I'm super excited. Fun, fun, fun. Ah, he's looking a little bit mean, right? But not too mean. So I'm going to paint over those swirls just so that they stand out. Let's see what color do I want to use. So again, I'm picking colors that show up really nicely on the screen. I think orange showed up pretty good. So let's go over these swirls. You guys can always give me suggestions of popular, popular kids things. Just like Baby Yoda. I would not have thought of that. I 
And this is something really fun you could do all day long. You could just keep filling it in and filling it in. Hi. Yes, hi, Jennifer. I don't know if Jennifer's, sometimes you guys get mixed up when your name comes on the screen and uh, it says maybe your mother's name, but then sometimes you guys change it to your own name, so I'm not sure. Um, so then again, you could spend all day long doodling, adding little colored designs to it and pick a background color that's gonna make it pop out. So I actually have this cool, color that I have not used a lot on here, so I thought I'd give it a try. Something dark enough to make it pop out, and on the screen, of course, it looks. <laughs> Alexa, play Remember Me from Coco. Oh, I thought Jennifer was saying Remember Me from Coco. All right, Rachel, you had me confused there. I thought she was one of the girls from the Coco party. I did a cocoa party, but it's kind of hard for me to see the screen. So, oh, remember me. All right, you guys have to tell me if that worked, if that played. So this is more of a turquoise green. Again, it kind of looks black on the screen, but I wanted to mix it up and try something a little bit different. I've used blue a lot, green, regular green, yellow. So I'm like, all right, let's try something different. You could do the background black, but then what's gonna happen is you have the black eye sockets and the black nose. So I want it to look a little different. And again, just so you can see the color better, I'm gonna scoop up some white. I'm gonna mix it right on my canvas so you can get an idea of the color because it looks pretty dark on the screen. But it's really cool green. So if you mix some blue and some green, Together, you'll get like this turquoisey bluish green color. And if you're new, welcome so much. When I'm done with this, you guys, Rachel's gonna put a link up and that link will allow you, if you want to, to come on the screen and share your artwork with us. It could be something from today, it could be Baby Yoda from yesterday, it could be from the past. A lot of the people who have been doing this for eight weeks with us, they have like a whole art gallery. I love seeing the art gallery in the background. It's just cool to see what you guys are doing. So again, we're gonna, in a couple minutes, we'll put the link up. You click the link and then you go into a waiting room. Now, if everyone clicks it at the same time, the waiting room gets full pretty quick. So you just have to try again in a couple minutes. So you don't go right on the screen. You go into the waiting room and then one person at a time will come on the screen and Rachel will bring you up. And then uh, we go live, but these are all recorded. So you can go back later and watch it again. You can share it with your friends and family. It's Artist at Heart Paint Party on Facebook and on YouTube. Again, if you go to my website, you can see all of my stuff. Rachel, can you put the banner up that says artistatheart.org? Sometimes. Oh, thank you. That's my website. If you guys go to the website, you can see everything that I do, all the different canvas paintings. There's lots of different tabs. Just click on the different tabs. I do glass painting and wood painting. And mostly I do uh, public events in restaurants around Cleveland, and they all got canceled and postponed 
until they start opening up the places again. And of course it's gonna be different. I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna work, but we're all just going with the flow. And then I do private parties, I do house parties, I do corporate events, churches. I did a bat mitzvah right before this um, happened. Lots of birthday parties, family reunions, all kinds of stuff. Always fun. They get to pick out the painting. And usually I just show up with all the supplies and the aprons and they just need to have tables and chairs and people. So I've been doing more Zoom parties now. Again, hopefully once the social distancing ends, things will go back to somewhat normal. I'm not sure. And again, you could write a story. You could add a couple of skulls. You could do a whole page of different skulls of all different colors. But this is a project like a doodle where you just keep adding to it and adding to it and add designs to it. It's just a fun thing to do. You can do a variety of materials. You can do marker and paint. And now, if you're painting it now, let it dry before you go use the markers on it. Because if you get wet paint on your markers, it would ruin your markers. How's yours coming out? Okay, Rach, you can give them the link. And you guys, when you see the link, click the link. You'll come into the waiting room. Say, make sure you turn your volume down because if your volume's up really loud, it's on a delay, so you guys are just a few seconds behind me, and it'll echo a lot in the background. So turn your volume down, but don't mute it, because if you mute it, we can't hear you at all. <laughs> Maybe I'll put some dots right there. I'm just adding more designs. So whenever you're ready, right, you can give them the link. You guys come up on the screen. Hi. So I'm Ava Turek from Elmhurst, Illinois, and so far this is my sugar skull. Oh, that's great. Dead. dead. Um, it's not really that old yet. Try and make it like pop. Um, I'm starting to run out of room over here. You can rotate that. That looks awesome. I. And Thanks for playing. I just know. need to like do that and then it falls down. So it's just too chaotic, but that's good. Thanks. Thank Ava. you for keeping my mind off of, you know, this whole curse. Some people will call it. Um, it's been my highlight of my day. Thank you for doing this so Thank much. You for that, Ava. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. This is mine. Oh, that looks great. I love the purple. Yeah, I'm doing that. And then I'm from Troy, Ohio. And then I have this other drawing I'm doing. And it's like, it's going to be a tree with like all these different colors on it. Very pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi. Hi, Laura. Um. This is my artwork from today. I'm not finished with it quite yet. I've I like the gray in there. That looks cool. I'm using a black canvas for this so people don't need to waste like black paint oh. for the background. And then is that the black coming through the white? Because I like the way that looks. Yeah. That looks really cool. Thank this you. Is, this is Baby Yoda from yesterday. Oh, that looks so nice. Um. If you want to make stars, you can just take one of those like cheap paint brushes. You can like put water in white paint and then just like sprinkle it. You gotta be yeah. neat. Kind of be neat. A little careful, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for doing this. You're welcome.
Hi, this is Mario Software, and you should play Yarona. Play what? Yarona. It's a Mexican song for the Day of the Dead. Sprinkle it. Okay, say Alexa, play. Yeah. What? Thank you. What? Adriana, you say Alexa, play. No, I said play. Play Yarona. Yarona. Thank you. Okay. Say what? Hi, Brianna. This is mine so far. Oh, cool. Thank hey. you for doing this. You're welcome. I'm from St. Benedict, PA. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, mine. Oh, that looks great. It's my colored in one, and this is my practice one. Oh, very nice. Bye. Bye. Hey, Thank you for doing this. Oh, I'm going to do Awesome. Thank you. Oh, very cool. Thank you. Bye. It's messy. Oh, baby. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. My color the in one. Oh. And this is my practice. Hey, Claire. Hi. Oh, you got a sombrero. Yes. Um, my brother, he likes running really good, so he's not here, but he did draw, and this is his. He likes really? tacos, so he drew a taco and a skeleton in it, oh. and um, this is mine. I love it. Thank you, you for doing this. We you're welcome. You I, love, I, love, I love the sombrero, and you tell your brother, I want to see a skeleton eating a taco. I want to mm -hmm. have a skeleton eating the taco. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, this is mine. Oh, very nice. And I just put it little X's on the sides. Cool. That looks great. And here's my mom's. Oh, very nice. Yeah. And um, I was wondering for the star one if we could do like a person looking up at the star and it's super big and like little dots around it Oops. and a moon. That's a great idea. We're gonna read her book and then everyone's gonna kind of put their own spin on their artwork. You could absolutely do that. That's a great idea. And I can't wait for it. She's my bestest friend. Oh, that's so nice. You know her? Yeah. Um, my mom and me used to have meetings with her some days. Oh, that's so nice. Well, yes, I'm so excited also. So thank you for telling us about her. You're welcome. All right. Bye, honey. Bye. Hello. Hi, Benjamin. So this is mine. I forgot. I accidentally uh, went over the white with it. I accidentally went over the black with the white with the where the place where it's supposed to go into the white, I accidentally put black because I was like, ah, just get the background done. Oh, and I can't Friday. wait for Friday. Me too. Benjamin's having a private party on Friday. Okay. And you know what? Let it dry, and then you can go back over it once it's dry. With yeah, me. that's what my mom always says to me whenever oh, I make cool. that mistake. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Benjamin. bye. Bye. Hey. Hi, Susan. Susan Allison. I thought it was your mom's name. That looks great. I love the bright colors. Oh my gosh, love it. Oh, that makes me hungry. Oh my God, I love the shark. Those are awesome. Wow. That is a cool little sculpture. Very nice. Thank you for sharing. Bye. Hey, Hi. Um, this is my baby odor from yesterday. And this is my skull so far from today. That looks great. Take your time. Take your time. Send me a photo later. Thanks, Ray.
Hi, Lily and Liam. Hi. Your arms I'm Lily. Lily. And this Lily. is mine. From These today. are our from today. And we really like doing your art classes. Thank you guys for doing them with me. And thank mine, I'm done. And thank you for doing this. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Thanks for showing your art gallery. Go look upstairs. <laughs> thank you, Lily and Liam. Hey, Ava. Hello again. Hello. So, um... Am I able to do an Alexa thing? Okay. Like, Alexa, play Jeepers Creepers by Tony Bennett. Oh. That's what I thought it was. Sorry. Did it work? Um, for me, it worked. I don't know about the other people. Thanks, Ava. <laughs> Carrington. Ooh. Nice colors. Good job. Thanks, Carrington. And you guys, I got, I'm sure you're Alexis playing Jeepers Creepers. So one more time, let's just review. Tomorrow, Mother's Day, Teacher Appreciation Day. On top of all of these things for your mothers or your teachers, we're going to do hearts. We're going to do the word love. You can use any supplies. Then Thursday, we're coming live from, again, online from the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Friday, we're going to have a special uh, guest, Kristen, from West Virginia, who's going to read us her beautiful story, and it's called Stars and Scars, and then we're going to create an artwork. Reagan's here. Hey, Reagan. Sorry. Um, I haven't gotten very far, but um, this is mine. Thank you so much for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for doing it with me. Thank you. Uh, yes, Kristen from West Virginia. Oh, I thought of another Alexa song. How about, now this really is the spirit of Cinco de Mayo. Alexa, play La Bamba. La 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 bamba. La 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 bamba. That's about all I know. I just know it's a fun song. It makes me want to have some tacos. Oh, yeah. I should have my skeleton eating a taco right here. So do whatever you want to. You guys are doing amazing. Don't forget to send me photos. Check in, tag me, email me, uh, message me. However you guys can get me your photos of your cool skeletons. Hey, no one named my skeleton. Um, I need a cool skeleton for my knowledgeable. He's not mean. He's nice. He's a nice skeleton. And uh, so you guys, we had to come up with a name. Sage, Cora, Natasha. Go ahead. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. This is mine. Nice. This cool. Is mine. Oh, colorful. And that's this is mine. Very nice. This and is our mom's. Oh. She's too shy to show it. <laughs> so I have to show it by myself. Well, thanks for sharing. You're welcome. You guys have fun. Thank Bye. You for doing this. You're welcome. Thank you for doing this. That was fun. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, what happened to Adriana? Adriana was just there. What happened to Adriana? Hi, Emma, Hi, Rachel. I mean, not Rachel. Not Rachel. I thought we were still backstage. Hi. Rachel is. <gasps> that looks great. Very nice. This is mine. Oh, that looks fantastic. I love that you guys are getting it. I have some like cards and a taco here because why not? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's yeah. great. Thanks, girls. Happy Super Bowl. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, she has a little Mexican guy with a sombrero. I don't have one. Bye, <laughs> Denise. Bye, guys. Thank you. Everything. Hey, <gasps> What's his name? You gotta give him a name. Sally. Sally. Sally the skeleton. Sally the skull. I love it. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. This is mine. Oh, very nice. This is mine. Came out great. Adriana, this is great. Thanks for doing it with me. And I made my skeleton Anne. Anne. Anne the skeleton. That's a nice name. 
here's my three-dimensional skull, plaster skull, kind of. Oh, on Day of the Dead, sometimes I help my mom with making sugar skulls. Oh, that sounds fun. Thank you, Adriana. <laughs> okay, so this skeleton I have back here, I thought, oh my gosh, I could end the show with us dancing. He's, I, I need a good, Sally, can I steal that name? Sally, Sally the skeleton. Sally and I... We're gonna go for a walk today. It's such a beautiful day. We're gonna walk around the backyard. Maybe clean up some sticks. I don't know. What else, Sally? What else could we do? Sally, I don't know. Knowledgeable Sally? I don't know. Anyways, I just love to be silly. How about silly Sally? Silly Sally Skull, okay? Just think outside the box. Get creative. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for sharing. Be kind and have a taco today if you can. Uh, thanks again so much for everything. And God bless you guys. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.